Watch them grow, perceive devote. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow. This month is a great month to make your mental health and your own personal emotional healing a priority. And for some, this may mean finally deciding to start seeing a therapist. And for this reason, I've partnered with BetterHelp to assist you guys in finding a therapist that's right for you. With all of the chaos, confusion, and uncertainty going on in the world right now, coupled with our own personal daily struggles, now is definitely a great time to talk to someone who can not just be a listening ear, but can also help you with the what, the hows, and the whys that you're experiencing what you're experiencing. So if you or someone you know and love is going through something right now and feels the need for a little more help, I stress that you guys take advantage of this resource. Hello, Gemini, Princess Indy here for the 9-9 and 2000 and whatnot or whatever. I had to throw that back in there because I missed saying that so much. Welcome to your August reading, my friend. We're going to start by pulling a card from the Starseed Oracle for you guys overall energy. And then we're going to hop into you guys' cards to see what's going on with you guys energetically this month. So we're going to ask Spirit to give us clear, indirect guidance for my Geminis. Please, Spirit, anything they need to know, anything of utmost importance, I ask that that come to the forefront in this here reading. And as always, I thank you in advance, Spirit, because I know you're good for a of son of a gun. I said, I said it, I said it, Dagnabbit, son of a gun. I'm excited because Gemini is my rising sign. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what we got here. You guys, overall energies, we have whale and orca elders or something of the sort. Share your song, frequency of sound, diving deep. You know what I'm saying? And then we have star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. Two things are talking about going deep on this month, Gemini. So I feel what's going to be of utmost importance for my Gemini people in the month of August, it's more or less you guys diving deep within yourselves and bringing hidden treasure that exists within without. You know what I'm saying? So it's more or less you guys have a message. You guys have something to say. You guys have ooh, something to contribute. Ain't that something? You guys have something to contribute to the collective, to the world at large. And I feel that something at present is being denied. Star Ancestors is more or less um, speaking to the fact of, uh, well, I'm not going to say the fact, but it's speaking to the theory, if you will, of your ancestors, your lineage, where you come from. Um, and I would even go as far as to say where you come from in the sense of your spiritual origin. So not just about your family of origin and grandmama, great, great, great grandmama and things of the sort. I really feel that this is speaking to your spiritual origins. And it's more or less um, hinting towards the overall spiritual truth that our souls, all humans, not just Geminis, um, even though, you know, you guys are awesome but that all humans have a blueprint for their greatness and their possibilities etched into their soul. So it's more or less speaking to the school of thought that all of us and our highest versions of ourselves, we look down at other humans and, you know, say, I want those people as my parents. And these are the experiences that my soul needs for its evolution. And you forget everything that you are. You're born as a human and you spend most of your life remembering in so many words. So this is more or less speaking to um, the, the linking facet, Gemini, of getting to what you're looking for is remembering who you are. And when you remember who you are, you remember what you came here to do. And then you're able to scream out your message from the roof tops, if you will, verbally speaking, of course. So you guys, central energy for the month is the magician in the mirror. So that is saying to me that Geminis are feeling a tad bit disempowered. This month, it may be feeling as if life is happening to you as opposed to for you, or that if you want things to change in your life, you're not necessarily in control of those things. The challenge that we have is the woman holding the heart. So vulnerability is going to be in Important little journey to our heart space and whatnot. Our past influence is caring connection. Holy mother spadoodles. 
Princess decides to do love readings this month and suddenly love is popping up in all of my readings, you know what I'm saying? Anywho, below energy, I know you lying, the temple pet. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Oh my goodness, and you guys are one of the dual signs. I already know where this is going. Above energy is rest and rejuvenation in the reverse. And going forward, I know you're lying to me, Gemini. Going forward into September, we have the Dodd Romans. Okay, okay, lemon choking. Here's the deal, Gemini. This very much looks like a love reading to me, but I'm doing your love reading after this, so I'm going to talk about your love stuff, but I mean, I'm going to get deeper into that in your actual love reading. Well, I mean, then again, it's not really your love reading because it's cross-watchers only, so it, Gemini is going to be, so you would watch for... Anyway, so yeah, so what it's looking like for me, man, is that um, in July, I would say that there's a connection that's been made with someone or a potential partner or you guys coming into the realization of such of a thing. However, when it comes to the present energy for the month of August, the magician in the mirror is more or less a feeling of being disempowered and out of control. So it's, I don't know if love makes you feel out of control. I mean, it might it do that to people sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But more or less what I'm feeling with this, it's a desire to be in a relationship in general or finding someone that you want to be in a relationship with. And it's more or less a lack thereof of vulnerability or openness to share your feelings in so many words. And that's if you're male or female. So the challenge this month more or less is going to be tapping into your heart space meaning personal work you know what i mean and like i said with you guys cards it's talking about diving deep i believe that all human beings deserve love right i believe that we all have counterparts out there somewhere unless you know you elected to not go that route this life and you're just not feeling it but i feel that your partnerships gemini would greatly change when you do or if you have already changed, then your partner selection and what relationships are going to look like for you are going to look markedly different, right? So it's more or less um, the solution to you guys' problems because with rest and rejuvenation in the reverse up top and that crowning you guys spread here, um, <laughs> this would say to me that getting into relationships with people or even getting close to people, because it doesn't necessarily have to just be a love thing. It could literally be just getting close to people, opening up to people, speaking your truth, anything in that arena, anything that we're, because I mean, any relationship, friends or romantic involved, it, it, there's always a level of intimacy that's involved. And if you fear intimacy and you fear vulnerability because you don't trust yourself and you feel um, almost as if when you connect with other people in any way, um, or any authority figure or something along those lines, you have a tendency to feel uh, disempowered because you have been in the past. Whenever you've gotten close to people or you had friends that stabbed you in the back or anything along those lines, I feel you guys either may have found a friend, a friend group, or a romantic partner, something that's an intimate connection, and it's causing you guys a sense of anxiety. Like, it's worry, it's worst case scenario, it's kind of being hyper vigilant and, you know, what could go wrong? Could this go wrong? Is this really this? And it's kind of flip floppy kind of energy that I'm sensing here. But it's saying the whole reason for this is because at the root of it all, you're feeling disempowered. Like you don't trust yourself. I won't even say disempowered because it's like, well, what does that mean? It's the fact that you don't trust yourself. It, it's a mentality that life is happening to you and not for you. So if the right person by chance has happened upon your path or you found you a soul tribe or something of the sort, or even if this is just about you guys reconnecting with yourself, this would be something manifesting as a block because you opening up yourself, you being honest, you being truthful, you, you know, literally being vulnerable causes you a great deal of anxiety. But what it's saying needs to be done for my Geminis this month is retracing this temple path. It's the fact that if you're called to a higher order, right? Meaning if you consider yourself a light worker, star seed, empath, whatever terms you kids are using out there now, you know what I'm saying? If you feel that you have a divine calling on your life, if you will, right? If, if that's your perception of yourself and your experience, your heart is the secret ingredient to that. So you cannot be a person 
who is emotionally unavailable and shuts down their heart space and truly affect change in people's lives. Because anything that I know about anything like a light worker and all that other kind of stuff, one thing I know for true, wow, just sounded like I was from New Orleans. One thing I know for true, moving right along, I can't turn it off. <laughs> but one thing I know for sure is the proper way you'd say that. Something I'm confident in, right, would more or less be that all of those terms are for people who are doing one thing. And that one thing that all of those people are doing is they're called to be conduits of spirit and to teach the collective unconditional love. What that is, what that looks like embodied in a human being body. And in order to teach people unconditional love, there's a need first to have it for yourself, to have it for others, your immediate family, and then for the collective at large. It's something that unfolds over time. But if you're completely disconnected from your feminine energy, meaning your emotional space, your heart space, right? You're not listening to your intuition, but you're desiring to manifest this great calling, even for those of you who may feel blocked. It may be something um, that you're pursuing in the arena of what you feel is your calling or your purpose and you feel blocked. The question really becomes, is your heart in it? Is this your soul song? Is this what you feel without the shadow of a doubt that you're here to do? And if you could not do this thing, life ceases to make sense in so many words because it gets that deep. You know what I'm saying? But um, I feel this month is going to be about you guys really diving deep because once this card, the Magician in the Mirror, is in the upright, you know what I mean? And Rest and Rejuvenation is in the upright, we would be talking about true mastery, right? If you are an OG ascended master that came back to incarnate to do your little business and things of the sort, we're talking about a person who understands that they are the author and heir of their destiny, that anything that you desire or you want in this world, you can have it, right? Because you manifest it, because everything is working for you. Life is working in your favor. Other people's behavior, even if it's less than stellar, is working in your favor. The greatest ha-ha joke and illusion is the thought that anyone could do something that would, and this is about to get so deep, I just heard it before it came out of my mouth. Cover your ears if you don't like deep stuff. But the only thing that a person can really do to you is take your life, and that's not even taking it. You know what I mean? It's just you going back from whence thou come. You know what I mean? So it's living in a place of true liberation and understanding um, the truth and the authenticity of your origins, if you will, and being able to align with that vibration of doing nothing and accomplishing everything, which is a, a feat that can only be accomplished when you're in alignment. When you're in alignment with spirit, you can literally do nothing and accomplish everything. Because when you do do something, you're only doing it because you were quickened in your spirit to do it, right? So I can see this from both sides. From some of you, for some of you on a very mundane, mundane level, it's a fear of vulnerability. It's either, I wouldn't even say either. This literally would be someone meeting someone and that causing a great deal of anxiety because when you're single, you feel empowered, right? Or even desiring a relationship wanting to be in a relationship makes you feel disempowered or the fact that you meet someone and you connect with them, it makes you feel disempowered because you feel out of control because this other person is a whole nother variable that you can't have control over. So it causes anxiety in your mental space. It's causing unrest. It's causing nervousness. You know what I mean? You're reluctant, scared, afraid, all of these great things, right? But all of this is working. I don't know why, man. Now I get so parched. Y'all have never seen me just be drinking water during readings. I don't know what's happening in America. Throw chakra tours. I don't know. Anyway, moving right along. But anywho, so the thing is, is it makes you feel disempowered. However, spirit is using this in your favor for the sole purpose of saying that there's more of a heart opening that needs to happen. You do that work this month. Now you're stepping into the door of romance. 
This could literally mean you being open and vulnerable and ready for, you know, a deep, soulful, intimate connection with a person of your choosing, or we're talking about this in the sense of just true, highest vibrational, agape, unconditional love, and whatnot, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So anywho, Gemini, that has been your reading. I'm going over to Vimeo, my website, Patreon, and YouTube members to do you guys extended but if you're not about that life i still love your freaking face and i will see you guys sooner than later and by that i mean either in one of the daily readings or in your love reading which is technically the cross watcher reading so see you then deuces <laughs>